Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us once again today. Um, I'm Hassan Kiba together with my colleague Elie Ke here. Looking good by the way, my friend. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> uh, we are with Fatima and Morita from the Foundation Clinic, which is a rehabilitation center. So welcome guys. Thank you. As usual, I still can't get which one is which. I do know there's Fatima, there's Morita, because you guys just look too good. And yes. So thank you for joining us. Thank, thank you and welcome. You. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Uh, Marina, uh, what is it that you can tell us about the Foundation Clinic? What is it all about? Yes, it's a rehabilitation center. What do you guys offer at the clinic? So we treat uh, individuals with substance use disorder. We focus on the CBT program. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a biopsychosocial uh, approach, a systemic approach. We focus on uh, recovery wellness where we move people from out of a culture of addiction into a culture of recovery that sounds wonderful yes yeah so fatima can you tell me what um, makes the foundation clinic unique to you so uh what makes the foundation clinic unique is mm. the fact that we uh, offer love and support mm. uh, care to the patient um, our program is holistic um, it focuses on the brain and the mind, spiritual principles, and community and growth. Um, also, uh, we offer 11-month uh, aftercare, yeah. which is free of charge, including in the package. That is a very good thing, the fact that there is an um, aftercare program, because um, looking at different rehabilitation centers, it's not there. In, if Mostly the ones that I know, I've never heard of such. So I think that's a very good thing that you guys are doing. In terms of family, um, Marita, do you guys also offer or cater for families for those who are at the clinic? What do you do? Because it also affects families in most cases. So on a Wednesday, we have a family group from four to six where we um, support uh, family members also going through recovery on the loved one's uh, addiction problem. So I think I would, I would throw this to both of you, depending on who's comfortable to go with. Um, you know, there's a lot of stigma around um, addiction or struggling with addiction. And I mean, if there was somebody who was perhaps struggling with addiction at this point out there and they needed, you know, some help, what would you, what would you say to them? Okay, so we would uh, suggest that they come in for an assessment, okay, where we can assess uh, where the client's at and what the client needs. Uh, we have a session with either the client or the family members. Yes. Um, yeah, so that's needed. Mm -hmm. And then once they get admitted, uh, we go through, it's obviously a process, uh, we do at an admission, then they do a medical admission, they go through detox, and then they start the treatment program. Okay, that, that's, that's wonderful. That's really wonderful. So for someone who's um, not sure of whether they do belong here, are there, uh, is the assessment free? Can I come in and do the assessment? And if I feel that it's not good enough for me, am I allowed to work out? Yeah, on? so the, our assessments are free. All they need to do is phone in and we'll assist them on the phone, book an assessment. They'll see either Fatima or I, yeah, or yes. one of our uh, um, therapeutic staff, they'll help them. I know that you see a lot of people coming in um, on a regular basis, um, and uh, you know how they look like when they come in. What is the one thing you hope to see when they leave the clinic? Uh, they come in all broken and shattered. Yeah. They're not in a good space. What we do see is, because of all the love and care and support with our, uh, that we give them, that the staff gives them, that the team gives them, we do see the change. Most of the time, all of these clients only needs, they only need love and care. Is there anything else that you like people to know out there? I saw from your page that you used to have these annual events. Are you still having the comedy thing? So. So we stopped that because of COVID. It was called It's a Joke. It was a comedy yes. event where we had, uh, where we did an auction to uh, raise funds. So this year we're planning a color fest in September. We're I don't coming. know the date yet, we're but coming. we don't know yes. the date. Also, but we're coming. So we'd <laughs> like, uh, we'd like 
people to uh, sponsor and donate towards right. the clinic so that we could um, uplift love. the facility because this place is very sacred to the, to the two of us. Yes. Um, and people come here, as I said, broken and shattered and they leave here with so much joy when they leave our place.